Flexengate is one of our first customers and pioneers of our technology. They are one of the major suppliers, tier one suppliers for the automotive industry in the US. With robotic assembly and robotic part picking, particularly in the plastics environment, part location is very, very important. And plastic parts do have a little bit of a tolerance where they grow and they shrink based on the molding process, temperature, and also the fixture that the part's placed in. Basically, robots are programmed to go from point A to point B and perform a task. And they do it with very, very high precision. The problem is that if there's variations on where they need to go and they're always different, the robot is gonna be missing. So if you say that point B is here, but then suddenly it's just a fraction of an inch off, the robot won't know. He's still gonna to go to the place where it was programmed. Because of the robot going to the same spot every time and the variation in our parts and our fixtures, for something like a clip install, we currently see uh, about an 88 to a 90% success rate of actually hitting the clip tower with the clip. One of the biggest obstacles is that all robots are blind. Through Repair AI, now they have the access to a intelligent automation software that provides all these applications, all these robots with human-like vision. When you go to a vision system, what you're doing is rather than going to the same spot every time, you're actually going to a determined point based on what the camera sees. We saw an almost 9% increase in accuracy with the communication through the vision system. The reason we picked this application was because we really struggled with it. So it was a great test. Vision systems really are the future of assembly, part placement, things like that using robots. You can allow your conveyors, your fixtures to have more flexibility. From a cost savings perspective, we've been able to use this to reduce repair, which also allows us to reduce manpower and also improve part quality into our customer. So if we can ensure that we're getting a good part into our customer every time, we improve our cost in that regard as well. It's been a very successful project in our eyes. These systems will be involved in our future programs, future operations, as we plan for new equipment down the road. I don't see a manufacturing application that this can't read across to, and there's definitely a future of cost savings for manpower reduction and things like that in other applications.